Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel here once again. Today, we're going to do the unboxing of the X5 M4 RGB gaming mouse. Now, this was not my first color. My first color was going to be even the black one, and my secondary color was going to be the blue one. I kind of like the that Miami blue um, um color on the mouse, but then when I saw the retro, and pretty much I was lost of words. I was like, uh, I was trying to see if I can get this on Amazon. The only ones that have was the blue one and the black one, so I wind up ordering straight from X5 website. And this company is also located in Sweden, which is, it took about two or three days. I ordered on Monday, today's Thursday, so worst case scenario, it didn't came today, I would have it tomorrow. But I'm really happy with the color because it reminded me when I was a child where I used to have Nintendo with that gun, playing Duck Hunt, and then sometimes switching up with Mario. And I'm kind of happy that this company went with this color and call it a retro. So those old school gamers out there can relate with this color and kind of brings them back their own childhood memories, which I am really happy. And I'm impressed with this size of the mouse because I do like the Model D, but again, I found the Model D is a little bit too big for me. And this is why I went with the um, X5, plus I've been doing research that some people were saying that it's almost same, um, not similar design, but somewhere around that ballpark that's the EC2, and I do like the EC2, but I'm sorry to say this, that we has a reputation when it comes to poor quality build. And I'm happy that this company made an ergo mouse, medium sized hands, light as hell, 69 grams, which is awesome. So enough with the yapping, and let's open this thing up. So as you see, you got more information at the back, and also have the, the um, dimensions of the size of the mouse. I did open it up as I wanted to make sure it was good, no um no flux which is that's good news as well but let's open up this baby right here and i also have a i bought a mouse pad for to try them out as well so we're going to do that as well so it comes with the keycaps which is awesome wow i'm impressed extremely well built at first when they came out with it people have been having issues with the fluxing at the side but i'm here to tell you right now this one doesn't have even the newer versions doesn't have this issue. Oh, <laughs> oh! Look at this nice um power cord cable. Oh, this is, looks beautiful. I like this. It has a nice little gold plated USB. Look at that. Hello. So let's get this out of the way. Oh my God, this thing fits perfectly in my hands. Side buttons are good. Left click and right click is good. Scroll wheel is good. Do a shake test. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yes. So what comes also in the box? It comes with extra mouse feet as well. It also comes with a, a mouse feet that you can put around the sensor right here. And it also comes with the extra five stick as well. And pretty much, we're gonna stand by and we're gonna plug this in. But for, before we do that, ah, yo, I did not damage the mouse. Whoo, womp, 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 bloopers right there. So let's put this to the side and we're gonna do the unboxing of the mouse pad. So this is the GP1 mouse pad. All right, let's open this baby up. So, okay. So this is a large version of the GP1. They also have the, the larger version that goes with the keyboard as well, which I don't like that a lot. I'm not a fan of. So let's see how this mouse looks. The GSR of the Zowie is really awesome. But again, I wanna try something different. So this is a lot more smoother. This one's, a, ooh, okay, so let's put this on the side. Oh, it comes with another sticker as well. That's awesome. And let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison, which is almost should be identical. Yeah, it's I, definitely identical when it comes to size. Okay, ooh, all right, I like this. All right, so stand by. Let me plug everything in, and I'll show you how it looks will light up so I'm excited stand by okay so 
just want to show you here quick that this is the when you switch the polar weight which is awesome and this is where you change the dpi i know some people get confused they think the dpi is up here which is really not this is to change your um lighting if you want so it's up to you and pretty much the lighting on the dpi red is 400 yellow is 800 orange is 1200 um dark blue is 1600 purple is 3200 and um baby blue is 4000 and like kind of like a dark green is 7200 dpi and then white is 16k dpi mother of god and the sensor that it uses uses the 3389 sensor the coating on this mouse is uv also is dust and sweat resistant so you don't have to worry about it your sweat gets in there it will not damage the mouse or kill it you're good to go there and also gives you a lot of options how to adjust the brightness you can also you hate rgb you can turn it off as well i just want to jump in right now and play some games because this is really exciting how comfortable this mouse really feels in my hands this is a really good first first impression i'm really happy so i'm gonna let you guys go right here enjoy your weekends as always be safe out there you know i'm gonna do um, field testing with this baby i'll talk to you guys later i am signing off goodbye